Hey everybody, this is Move Monday, and I haven't done one of these videos in a long time, so I'm going to do one right now. Very relaxed setting here in the Deep End Studio, but I was thinking about my book here, Move, Entering into God's Promises for You, and I thought about this. If there was one chapter that I wish I could add to the book, it would be one of the things that keeps us from moving forward in life. It's something that I've struggled with, I'm sure you've struggled with at times, I think everybody does, and I think it's something that we've got to call out in church culture and in Christian living culture, and that is the tendency to compare ourselves to other people who are already doing what we want to do or what we are doing. I'm a pastor. I get this big. So we're always looking at what other pastors are doing, what other churches are doing. How come they're doing that and we're not doing that? So let's do that. And, and then if you're not careful, comparison with other people will stop you from moving forward into what God wants you to do. I'll give you an example. We started a church in Florida at Waters Church this past year, and I actually wanted to start a church in Florida in 2013, and I let something stop me. It was a comparison mindset. Mindset. I let myself look at all these other churches that had uh, locations in Florida. I said, we're not as good. We're, we're not able to do that. They've already got plenty of churches. And then another church actually from New England started a church in Florida, and I thought, oh, see, it's already been done. What's the use? What's the use? For how many years? For seven years, I let that comparison trap ruminate in my mind. And I thought, man, seven years wasted of just thinking, oh, somebody else has already done it or somebody might be doing it better than us or whatever. It's such a fool's errand because here's the thing. God creates unique people with unique voices. And Waters Church is not the best church. We're just a church with a unique voice. And so who cares how many churches are down in Florida? Who cares that other churches are starting locations in Florida? In fact, not who cares, but praise God because the world needs more churches no matter where it is. But I thought about it for us and I thought we've got to get over the comparison trap. It stops us. Makes us hesitant. Hesitant. Makes us say, I can't do it. I can't do it. Because somebody else is already doing it. They might be doing it better. So if they're already doing it. No, 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 no. You know, uh, one of my favorite movies is called The Vernon John Story. You got to watch that movie. It's about the predecessor to Martin Luther King Jr. That he was the pastor of the church before Martin Luther King Jr. He was talking about racial reconciliation and the issues of civil rights way before Martin Luther King Jr. And the board worked to vote him out. And who did they vote in to replace him with? Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> so it's just kind of funny. You always have a predecessor and then you have the guy who kind of gets known for the movement. That's all of life. And who knows if you're not going to step out in faith and you're going to be the person who inspires somebody else and who leads that next great name into the calling of their lives and your story, your stepping out inspires their stepping out. Instead of comparing ourselves to other people, we should actually use a different word. We should use the word inspiring. Inspiring. I mean that in this way. I'm not going to let their activity be something that causes me to compare myself with them. I'm going to let their activity give me an inspiration, an inspired outlook on what God has me to do. Let me be inspired by these stories so that I can become what God wants me to be, even if they have a hand in shaping it because they did it first. So I just go back to the Bible, right? And I have this big, huge Bible because I'm comparing my Bible with yours. I'm comparing my Bible. <laughs> Here's what it says in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12. And Paul says this because in 2 Corinthians, he was defending his ministry against those who thought, oh, he's been in prison so many times. He's been beaten and he's been chased out of town, so he must not be a real apostle. He must not be a real man of God. And Paul says, I'm not going to fall into that trap. I'm not going to compare myself with other self-proclaimed apostles. He says this in 2 Corinthians 10, 12. Not that we dare to classify or compare ourselves with some of those who are commending themselves, but when they measure themselves by one another and compare themselves with one another, they are without understanding. And then he says, we will not boast beyond limits, but we will boast only in regard to the area of influence God has assigned to us to reach even to you. In other words, comparing my Myself to other people, no matter what they do or what they say about themselves, is a fool's errand. I'm going to boast in what God has called me to do. So I think instead of letting what other people have done that you wanted to do or considering that somebody might be doing it better than you could do it, why don't you just say, Lord, help me to find my unique voice and help me to step out and take a chance and go for it. The worst thing that could happen is that you fail and learn from it. The best thing that could happen is you move forward in faith. I hope this blesses you. Happy Monday. I'll see you next time.